hey guys welcome back to my channel again so i'm still kind of digging into this orin um orson case or classic and sincere i'm kind of torn between like you know what name should i use but um i guess when they went missing and that's the names that they were going by orin and orson but um what i'm doing right now is i'm actually looking in their neighborhood in the area that they lived in um, and looking at any offenders that were um, in the area. Now, I had a couple of different apps and they were showing different things. One app was showing like only six. Another app was showing more. So I'm not sure what's accurate, but I did want to just give a little look. And while I was looking, I was like, well, let me just kind of record and show everyone as well. Um, one of the theories that I have for these children, like I said in the last video that I uploaded, literally just uploaded, is that um, with these kids being missing, there's a lot of theories. But one strong one that I have is that if the parents did nothing to these children, I feel like one thing that is strong, um, strongly to have happened was that these kids wandered off and actually were snatched up by someone in their neighborhood. Um, because it is just weird that um, if the father went in the home, when he went in the home, they were there. And then when he came outside, they were gone. That not only was they not in the yard, but they were just out of the neighborhood. Not on, you know, for him to have searched, the police have searched and nobody have found him to this day. You know, how did they just get away that fast and so far that, you know, when people search immediately, they're not found anywhere, not even in the next street. How did they get away that fast? So I feel like it's a good possibility that somebody snatched them up. And what are the odds that it might be someone who's already offended? Now, mind you, anybody in this world could have done it. And I'm not saying that that is what happened. But if it happened, anybody could have done it. So it could have been someone who probably have never been caught before, probably is not on the uh, registry. But I still wanted to take a look at their neighborhood to see who were they around. And I was seeing, you know, on social media that they probably, you know, like California City was, you know, had a lot of sex offenders and stuff. I don't know how, you know, accurate that is. So I was like, let me take a look at this app. So as you can see right here, I wish I can point. Hold on one second. Right here is Aspen Avenue. Okay, so I'm going to, now mind you, Aspen Avenue right there. So the little red dots, that means that's a registered offender. So like if I click on it, it will tell you who it is. So this one, Lou act with a child under the age of 14. Right here. Um, Minor, you know. I don't know if I could say things because YouTube likes to kind of like flag, but you see it. So this here is really, really, really close. So this Aspen Avenue and then you have Baldwin, Baldwin Lane. Let me see here. So on Google Maps, Aspen Avenue and Baldwin Lane is only three minutes apart. Um, by walking, it's 15 minutes. So it would have taken the kids... You know, I guess at least 15 minutes to walk to that um, area if they were near that predator. Um, but it's likely that the predator could have been driving around. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to make up these scenarios in my head as to what happened since these kids, they're not here. Like, we don't know where they are. So we see, like, literally just by driving three minutes over, a couple streets over, it's one there. And then we had another one. Let's see. Applewood Drive. It's like right here. Wait, not Applewood. That, that was here. So that that's kind of further out. So let's get another look. So again, Aspen Avenue right here. I'm going to be switching between this app and um, Google Maps. So the further out I zoom, the more it is show me. So all of this here is California City. Um, now, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, yes, there's a few, but it's not as many as some cities. Like, I can go to a city. There's one city below, and it was like a lot. Hold on. I don't even know if I can find it. I think it's going to only show me California City since that's the address I put in. 
but it was like a lot. I was like, oh my gosh. And I don't even know if this is the accurate amount, but again, I just wanted to do something just so I can see um, who was around these kids and they're right here in this loop. And it um, from, from this, um, where are they? They're like right here somewhere. They're right here. Mm. But, um, or Aspen right here from, um, from that look of the app. Now this is not, I don't know how accurate this app is. So don't quote me. Don't take my word for it. But this is just a look, um, just to give us an idea. It looks like it wasn't too bad around them. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how accurate this is. I don't. But I was seeing so many comments like there's so many predators in California City. And I'm like, let me look. But where where they live seemed to be okay. Like I don't see any red. And the closest red to them is this one right here. Him. Um, And I, I dare not block names and pictures of these people because I could care less about their privacy. Um, but... This is all that this app is showing me. I had another app, but it was only showing me six people. So that's why I was like, these apps are different. And I don't even know the accuracy. Um, and I don't know where to go to look at. Um, I just want something that'll pop up and show me everything at one time. Um, and, and it'd be accurate. So I don't really know an app that would do that. There was one app in the store, but it no longer works. So... Um, it has like 5 million downloads and I actually used it before, but it doesn't even work anymore. This one is, I forgot what this one is called, but, um, actually, hold on one second, guys. Here's Aspen Avenue. Let me see what end of Aspen Avenue they lived on. Hold on though. Cause there's one on, there's two on Aspen Avenue. Do you guys see that? Hold on. So is there two Aspen Avenues? It looks like there's two Aspen Avenue. Actually, is do you guys see this? Actually, somebody lied. There's an Aspen Avenue here. Yo, what is going on? So actually, they probably had predators on their street. Do you guys see this? Let me wait. This is Aspen Avenue here. Let me get the specific address. Hold on one second. So. They lived on this here. They lived on the 10, 10, 700 block of Aspen Avenue, which is here. Okay. So this here is between Proctor Boulevard and Bay Avenue. So you guys, here is Bay Avenue. Where's Proctor? It's not coming up. This may be the street they lived on. Bay where, let me see this other one. Bay. Okay, it's the same thing. What is this? Which one they live in? Proctor. Bay. Y'all, am I am I tripping? Why is it showing the same thing? Okay, this is Bay and Proctor. Proctor. Like, oh my God. Why? Why? Okay. 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 Y'all, I'm gonna figure this out. So according to Google, they lived here, which, you know, that's, that is that field beside the house, that's the house and whatnot. I don't know what that looked like there. I don't know. Wait. Y'all gonna have to give me a minute. This article says that Orson West 3 four-year-old Orin were last seen in the 10700 block of Aspen Avenue. 10700 block. And Google says that this is the 10700 block here. And my offender map says that there were no offenders on that street. But, hold on. Yes, like, okay. On their end of the street, there were no offenders okay so this is aspen avenue 
So I'm guessing like if you keep driving and you keep driving and you keep driving and you get on this side of Aspen Avenue, you do have some. Like you have like one, well, some right here and you have literally two on this street. Like, let me try to see how far away this is. So let me see. What's his address? 8373 Aspen Avenue. Let me Google this and see how far away his side is away from their side. Okay, guys. So the map on the other, the map on the other, um, the offender app, it looks weird. On here is a straight shot. As you can see, it was like choppy. So that's why I was confused. So it's a straight, it's, just, it's like one long street, apparently. It obviously has to be. It's the same road. And so they do have offenders on their street. So they have about two to three. On their end, there is really, they live like just minutes away. Literally minutes. So this is the man, that man on that end he lives here and they live here just six minutes away so let's go back he lives six minutes away from Orin and Orson if I can find their street again hold on it's too much y'all <laughs> hold on I gotta find it again I gotta find it I'm lost I'm lost. Okay, where where are we at? Where are we at? Come on, let's go. Okay, so right here, let me see Aspen. This is where they live. This is them. And this is a straight shot. See, you can't really see it on here. It's weird. That's why I was confused because you just see green. Okay, this is a straight shot, apparently. And so here's Aspen Avenue. On this map, it cuts off. I don't know what's real because I'm not there. But they live a few minutes away here so they live a few minutes away from this one they live a few minutes away from this one and they live a few minutes away from this one and they live a few minutes away from this one so i would say within five to six minutes on the same street and a street above on bay avenue here they have about four predators basically on the same street within four to five minutes i guess driving literally the same street aspen avenue aspen avenue and then these two are on the street above but it's only a five minute drive six minute drive okay then you have these up here you know up here not far at all but the fact that you have some on the same street, guys, I needed to look six minutes apart. They went walking out of that yard. There's no telling where they went. But I was like, you know, nobody can find them. It's the 21st. They have to be somewhere. I don't know. They better check. Five to six minutes apart. Mm -mm. Come on, on the same street. On the same street. I just had to check. That's my update, you guys. Y'all please tell me what y'all think.